Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to have a look at Arch Labs versus Manjaro Architect. So last week we looked at Arch Labs versus Arco Linux D, and we kind of said that, hey, if you want something that's quick and easy to set up, Arch Labs is probably, as long as you can get past the command line installer, is probably going to be a little bit better. Um, because Arco Linux is so stinking confusing with their website. Uh, but Arco Linux did actually get us a little bit better of a build because we did not have to manually add anything for populating the repos, at least the, the software store, uh, which I did not get the opportunity to go through and uh, figure out how to fix that. So that's going to be an issue that we're going to encounter today on Arch Labs. But we are going to pin this one next to another Arch installer, and this is Manjaro Architect, which isn't a true Arch, but more of an, an, a Manjaro. Jaro customizer. And so we're going to go ahead and look at these. So the websites, of course, Arch Labs, uh, this is just uh, basically it's just an Arch installer, allows you to pick from a variety of desktop environments, easy setup, a variety of different software. They have, uh, you know, just all the basic things that you need. You boot into the terminal. It's all a terminal based installer. That's the downside of it. So if you're a little bit more uncomfortable in a terminal-based installer, then Arch Labs is going to be a little bit more difficult. On Manjaro, just head on over to the Get Manjaro page, and Architect is going to be the last one on the official builds list. So this one here is basically going to allow you to customize your Manjaro build as you go. So uh, with this, we are going to go ahead and uh, jump on over to our virtual machine. And we'll go ahead and start in with Arch Labs this time. So let me find my Arch Labs, drop it in there, and we'll go ahead and get the machine started and see how this works. All right, so here we are on, we can boot the existing OS, we can boot to Arch Labs, things like this. So we're gonna go ahead and boot up the Arch Labs and see what we get here. Okay, so here we've landed on the installer, and you can see here we just have some basic inst uh, instructions. To the standard installer is Arch Labs installer. We can run a live session if we want to. Uh, I I'm wondering if that live session actually has a um, uh, an actual installer there. That would be a neat thing to try out. Let's go ahead and do that since we did run Arch Labs on our uh, on our next one. So let's go with Arch Labs installer, and we're gonna go Ash. Um, do we actually have to hit a session there or not? Let's go ahead and uh, do this. So I guess we're just going to run through the installation, I guess. Um, maybe I had to hit, hit something else after the session. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go U.S. English. We are going to go, um, let's see, we can show the device tree. That's, you know, nothing else there. Next step, we are going to partition this guy here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole device automatic partitioning. Uh, yes, we're going to uh, kill the part partitions. It's getting everything set up. So I've never had any issues with that there. Say OK. Uh, we're going to skip encryption. So if you wanted to do a encryption, you can go ahead and do that. We're going to skip that part there. Um, I don't think we need to do any... Um, uh, any of our logical volume management. Now this is the part you do need to mount a uh, partition here. And so we're going to have to boot this guy up. And it basically partitioned it as a boot. Select like whether you want to use a swap file or not. So let's go ahead and do a swap file there. Setting the size. Just using the default is going to be good enough. Mounting is finished. We're going to select a bootloader. So you can go with uh, syslinux or grub. Username and password. Let's go ahead and go with Arch Labs. Password, do my super secret, definitely not one, two, three. And then we're going to go ahead and keep that as empty. Skip down, push OK. Here's our, let's see, system configuration. I'm going to use bash once again. Host name, Arch Labs is just fine. And now we want to go to our local. So we're going to go with a um, English. So E-N-U-S, it tells us up at the top, uh, British English and United States English. Um, I guess the installer is, is English because it's really only giving us those options. America, let's go find New York for our time. And now we want to choose which one we want to use. I have had problems installing this with the standard rolling Linux kernel. So we are going to do the LTS. 
select window manager. Oh, I was going to ask you guys what we should actually do today. But since my uh, comment feed is buried, um, we're not going to do, s I think we did gnome last time, right? Uh, we could do XFCE. We could do cinnamon. Let's do, let's do cinnamon. You might be able to, yeah, you can select multiple desktop environments. So if you did want to select a, you know, more than one, you can actually go ahead and, and select as many as you want. We're just going to go ahead and do just cinnamon for now. So select which kind of login manager to use. You have GDM, SDDM, light DM. Let's go with light DM. Any additional packages. This is where you can choose any of your primary major packages that you want. Once again, I don't want to install anything else here because I want to have the installation occur as quickly as possible. And push OK, run a command on the installed system. I do not want to run any command on the installed system. View configuration. Uh, let's go ahead and view what we have. So root partitions, boot, boot devices, swaps. Uh, no Lux, no logical volume management. We can see we're set up as US English, Arch Labs, and we have everything looks good. So confirm choices and start the installer. So now it's actually going to come through here and it's going to be running our installation. You guys like this larger amplified screen size? <laughs> I actually, I did this to record the uh, pie hole tutorials uh, yesterday. So um, got a little bit bigger of a screen there. So we're going to go ahead and come on back when this guy is done doing its thing and we'll see how about how long that took. Okay, so the installation is done. We can go ahead and double check any of our settings over here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and exit the installer and reboot. And so let me go ahead and recapture my cursor over here. Get this guy rebooted and the, I think the ISO should still be in here, but we do have the ability to boot the existing OS. Boot on into Arch Labs, and from here, we should have a system. I'm not sure, though, if it's going to jump in at, like, twice the size, though. So we'll see what happens. All right, so here we are on a login screen. Let's go ahead and click in and see what happens here. All right, so we do have a full-size uh, system set up here. The applications that we have, let's see, we have basic software accessories. We have uh, Nemo, Vim, Software Token. We don't even have a web browser, yo. We've got HTOP. Pretty much nothing. Yeah, that's actually uh, pretty much we have nothing here. Let's see, there is... Um, okay, so we can add a new seed with that. So there's no uh, package managers here. Uh, well, I mean, sorry, there we can go into our terminal and use uh, Pac-Man if we wanted to. Uh, there's no other uh, no other installers here, so everything's good. Everything's all set up. Uh, this got us uh, a very nice build, and you can see it actually brought really no information with us. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought we, I was like, oh, it does have a web browser. No, it doesn't. Not at all. All right, so there is uh, Arch Labs. Once again, nice and easy to work with. All right, so here we are on Manjaro Architect, and here we can just pick our time zones, keyboards, layouts, our driver source, which, uh, so we have free. We also have non-free, so we're just going to stay on free. And then let's go ahead and boot Manjaro Architect. Okay, so when we land here, uh, Manjaro Architects starts up. We get very much like Arch Labs. We have to type setup to get started. It does tell us the username and the password are both Manjaro. So let's go ahead and type in setup. And we, of course, have to enter Manjaro as the password. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to log in first. It was waiting for a command prompt. There we go. Now we type in setup. We have to type in setup. I can't type today. <laughs> All right, there we are. So now it's setting up the uh, the packages here, and we have a very similar installer to what we had on uh, on our 
Arch Labs. So since it's a very similar installer, I'm going to go ahead and uh, resume the screen. All right, there we are. So we're going to start with our English. <clears throat> and then over here, the installer will download the latest packages from the Manjaro repository. So we're going to go ahead and get ready. So preparing the installation, we have a desktop. We have a CLI system, custom systems, um, anything else. So let's go ahead and start, get started here. So we have a set virtual console. So US, that's correct. List any devices. Looks good. Um, oops, partitioning the disk. So we're going to, let's uh, automatic partitioning. That should be good enough for us here. Uh, we're not going to set up any RAID. We're not going to set up any logical volume management. We're not going to set up any encryption or ZFS. But it is nice we do have the ZSF, ZFS option here if that is something that you want to be. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let's see, select root partition. So this is where Manjaro will be. So the first one is boot. The second one should be root. I'll go with uh, ext4. Space to select, deselect. So please do not select multiple versions of the same. I think we're going to go with our defaults. There we are. Now we are successfully mounted. All right. Hey, look at this. Now we are all good. All right, let's go ahead and finish. That's already good. That's already good. Now let's select the system. Install the Manjaro desktop. All right, so let's see. This guy here. So we're going to pick which one we want. Let's do... Which one did the other one get? Uh, was that 4.9 on Arch Labs? I think it was 4.9. So let's go ahead and pick 4.9. Uh, we're going to go with Cinnamon to keep them consistent. I'd like to add any additional packages. Let's see what this looks like here. All right. So here you can go in and you can select the various packages that you want. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, this edition is offered in two, uh, two versions, the full or the minimal. We're going to go with the minimal. And it looks as though it is now moving. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing. So we'll be back when this guy is done with its installation. Okay, so that part of the installer works. So now we have the options here to install free drivers, install proprietary drivers, select the display driver, or install all free drivers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and auto install free drivers. Um, depending on what your graphics card is and what you're using your system for, you might want to auto install proprietary. Uh, proprietary might get slightly better performance, uh, but I think free drivers for me is going to be uh, perfectly fine. So it's installing drivers for virtual machines because that's kind of where we are right now. So let's go ahead and see what it's doing. It's uh, grabbing VirtualBox guest editions and successfully install. Press enter to continue. All right, installing a bootloader. We're going to do, um, ooh, hold on, let me back up. Well, I just want to cancel. Oh, Lord. I wanted to cancel so I could do grub plus and probe the OS. But apparently hitting cancel doesn't actually... And, uh, that's what I wanted to do. Yes. Okay, well, apparently it's something to do. But see, what I wanted to do is I wanted to... If you saw in the command line there where it says found OS Manjaro, that's what we had to do. We had to probe the OSs so, to build the base. All right, configure your base. Um, I don't need an FSTAB, host file, Manjaro is just fine, system locale. Oh boy, they're not going to be nice. I don't remember if, I think I'm UTF-7 maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm 8. We're just going to stick with this. Desktop keyboard layout. US. Local time, set root password. Uh, let's go ahead and set a root password. It's definitely not one, two, three. Add new users. Let's do 
Manjaro. Bash. Again, definitely not one, two, three. Let's go back. System tweaks, we can enable automatic login, enable hibernation, uh, performance, security, and system D tweaks. Grub is better. All right, review configuration. I don't think we need to view any of our configuration. Let's go back. I think we're done. Hopefully we're done. Would you like to save the installation log? Nah. Let's go ahead and reboot our system and see what happens. And it booted. All right, so here we are on the desktop. It did boot for us on our um, uh, on our full screen, which is good. Uh, so we are choosing to, let's see, the default panel uses a modern style. Would you like to replace this with a more traditional uh, panel instead? So uh, very good to see this system in a, in a uh, platform other than Mint, which is nice. So we're gonna go to a traditional menu list instead which actually looks as though it's going to be, um, it looks like Linux Mints actually reverts you back to a complete old style of the panel. This one actually just does the changes that I do to make it uh, function like the new one, but keep the, uh, like the old one, but keep the newer format. So much nicer. We have a, um, a launch at start. We do have a nice application launcher here that does work. We should also have, um, Pomac on here as well. So let's go ahead and boot that up. It's telling us we have a kernel update as well. So we have Pomac, everything's all set up and ready to go. Uh, as far as applications they give us, uh, just a few more little tools uh, and tidbits that came with it. We do have Midori there, so that's good. We actually got a uh, web browser with this one. Woohoo! Most of the other things are, are fairly similar. So overall, you're going to get a very similar system. The Manjaro theming is way better than we got in just the basic vanilla cinnamon that came with Arch Labs. So the installer or the, the desktop environment here, the theming in Manjaro is a lot better. We have a functioning uh, software center, both Pomac and the Manjaro very simple center. Uh, as well, we have the options to choose our layouts, and the theming is just very nice, very nice, very consistent with the way the system works. So uh, there we are. Uh, we have um, we have two basic systems here. We had Arch Labs, we had Manjaro. We wanted to work with both of these guys here to kind of see. Uh, you know, which one's going to be the better installer. So my overall take, having looked done both of these without reviewing documentation and stuff, I think that uh, they're, they're both very similar installers. The Arch Labs is a lot simpler to use. Um, their in individual installer, you know, just highlight it, press the space bar, select it versus Manjaro. We needed to type in the list, do some other things. There were a few screens that a new user may not know or understand what to do on that screen that Arch Labs does a little bit better. Once you finally get through the setup and Manjaro is set up completely and the installation goes, Manjaro though does give you a much better final product. So overall, I'd say that uh, if you're looking to jump into Arch and you want a good Arch system, that uh, obviously the first thing is that Manjaro is not going to be pure Arch. Arch Labs will be. So Arch Labs is probably going to get you there quicker. Manjaro is going to get you a better finalized, polished OS when you're done with it, but it's going to be a little bit more of a complicated installer. So is there a better or a worse one here? I don't think so. They both have their advantages. They both have their trade-offs. So that's my take on Manjaro versus Arch Labs. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.